Hello, happy new year everyone. I've forgotten how to vlog. I haven't spoke to a camera in like a month. Today I am going to be productive. You heard it here first. I've decided this is it. It is the 4th of January and I have been a giant slug for the last two weeks. I've developed the sleeping pattern of a teenage boy. I have barely got dressed. I've been eating my body weight in cheese and generally just enjoying Christmas to be fair and having a nice rest. I will say I do have a little bit of an excuse for being so lazy. I do currently have COVID. So that's an update for you. I got COVID over Christmas. We went to visit Jack's family for Christmas and saw a lot of his friends. We did a lot of mingling. So we got back to Southampton and Jack woke up one morning in the gap between Christmas and New Year and he woke up with a sore throat and he did a lateral flow and there was like the faintest line. My heart just sank because we were supposed to be going to see my family for New Year and go out with all my friends and I was meant to be hosting a party and stuff and obviously had to cancel all of that. I didn't test positive for like three days and I just thought I was really special because I wasn't catching COVID off Jack. New Year's Day, I did a lateral flow. Look at that line, that is a definite red line there. That is not just a faint one, that is a confident I have COVID red line. So yeah, that's a major life update. Luckily, both of us haven't really suffered any symptoms. I did have an achy back and I was sneezing a lot for about two days and then now I'm fine. And I've still got three days of proper isolation if I have two negative lateral flows in a row because that's the rules at the moment in the UK if you or in England at least if you get to day seven and you've had two negative lateral flows you can leave isolation but obviously it might not happen Jack is actually out of isolation today so he can go get us some food because we are running out of food anyway other than that I did set myself some new year's resolutions they're very basic and very generic but one is definitely to read more because last year I worked out I only read six books all year and I used to be one of those kids who did the summer reading challenge every year like I was an avid reader as a child and as a teenager I was a big book nerd and I just kind of have lost it in my adult life so my new year's resolution is to read 26 books which is a book every other week I don't think it's realistic for me to read 52 books this year because you know, I'm a busy person. The first book I'm reading is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and I'm about 100 pages in. I'll let you know what I think when I finished it, but if you do have any book recommendations, I am now taking any recommendations because I can't think of 26 books I wanna read. I can probably only think of about 10. So I would really appreciate any books you've enjoyed recently. Leave those in the comments. My other big New Year's resolution is to learn to drive. I am 24 years old and I have never even tried to drive a car. I'm a big lover of public transport and I'm not shy of a bus or or a train journey but I do think my life would be a bit easier if I could drive. I never learnt when I was 17 and that was purely a financial thing like I just didn't have the means to learn to drive but I think I need to prioritise and put money aside now to learn to drive. So in 2022 I am going to at least start learning to drive. I've said it on camera now so it has to happen because I say I do say this every year. I've said it every year for the last three years. But this year is the year. <laughs> and then my final New Year's resolution is to be more consistent with the gym. I think last year I probably averaged about two or three times a week. I'd like to put that to three or four times a week which isn't a massive difference, but I just wanna be more consistent with it. Not got off to the best start because I'm at home and I can't go to the gym. Yeah, those are my news resolutions. It's actually time to stop rambling now and get on with some work. First thing I actually need to do today is write a to-do list because it's not a productive day of the life if I don't waste time writing a to-do list. <laughs> Here is today's to-do list. So I've got a few like chores I need to get done before I start revision. I need to take down the tree. I need to organize some clothes for charity shops and Depop because that is also one of my sort of mini resolutions is to sort of sort through my wardrobe. And then I need to tidy my bedroom because it's a tip. Then for revision today, I am going to focus on week two of the nervous system module. So this year I am revising by week of term rather than by subject. So last year I would revise pharmacology one day and then anatomy the next, but I'm trying it this way this year. So yeah, so I've chosen week two of neuro because that's the week I'm on. And then I need to do today's Anki cards that are due. And then I'm gonna have a focus 
practice every day because they're sort of bigger topics I need to make sure I'm good at and learning the cranial nerves and sort of where they go to and what they innovate is really important for this module so I'm going to spend some time going over the cranial nerves and that is today's to-do list. I don't know how long it's going to take, we're going to try and get it all done but yeah we're going to start off with the chores because I feel like they're not going to take as long. So number one is taking down the Christmas tree. Uh, it's actually not the 6th of January yet, but I feel like I need a reset. It has to go. My um, family's presence is still under the tree at the moment, which is quite sad, but hopefully as soon as we're out of isolation, we're gonna get to go and see my family and do like presents and dinner and stuff because obviously didn't get to see them for Christmas in the end. But yeah, fingers crossed, as soon as we're out of isolation, we'll get to go down to pool. <laughs> to sort of clear out my wardrobe but I get really attached to certain items of clothing I don't know if this is something other people do but like these trousers I've had since I was in year 11 and I just remember wearing them in sixth form and during the summer of year 12 and like I don't know where are they even from they're from Miss Selfridge and I just feel like I don't really like them anymore like I don't know if I'd wear them anymore but I'm just attached to them. This is why I'm really bad at throwing things away. I think I have a hoarding problem, to be honest, but I'm gonna keep these. I am so bad. This is H&M with tags on still. I haven't even worn this. Right, that's done. I've got a charity shop pile and a Depop pile. I do have a Depop. I will link it below when I've uploaded the new items. And once I'm out of isolation, I'm gonna take all that to Portswood to one of the charity shops. Oh, that's done. <laughs> Guys, Jack got me this weighted blanket for Christmas and it has honestly changed my life. I am sleeping so much better with it already. I didn't realise something like this could just like literally transform my sleep. So, would definitely recommend a weighted blanket if you are a bad sleeper like me because I just don't think I could ever sleep without it now. <laughs> That is all my chores done, and now it's time to actually get started with revision. Right, I've got my coffee, I've got my candle lit, I am finally ready to start revision. Before I start, I want to show you how I've organised my revision like to-do list. Over Christmas, I have fully organised my Notion. I wasted a lot of time doing it, but it was worth it because I finally got my Notion in a way that I like it. So let me know if you would like a Notion tour video because I'm kind of proud of it now, it looks really good. But today I'll just show you how I've organized my revision plan on there. So I've split it up into each week of the course since the start of term. So we've got renal week one, two, three, and four, and then we've got seven weeks of neuro. And then it's organized into weeks that I've revised, weeks that I'm currently doing, and weeks I still need to do. And then if you click on the week, so for example, at the moment I'm doing neuro week week two it has a list of all of the lectures tutorials and labs from that week and basically it just means I don't miss anything because I think last year I sort of ended up accidentally not revising tutorials and labs and stuff because I just sort of focused on the lectures so this way everything is there um, and then I just work through my to-do list basically so as you can see I've made quite a good start I've done most of renal I've done anatomy for neuro and renal so today I'm going to be focusing on neuro week two I did start it yesterday but I do still have about seven 
lectures to get through from that week. So the first lecture I'm going to revise today is Intro to Visual Pathways, which is Physiology. Okay, I've done four lectures and I've got three left, but I am starving, so I'm gonna get a snack now, I think. That is all my lectures from week two done. So I can tick that off my to-do list. And now I need to get on with today's Anki cards that are due. I'm on to my last thing of the day, which is to focus on the cranial nerve. What I'm trying to do, I think I mentioned this earlier, but is like have one focus every day on like a big topic that I need to definitely, definitely know for the exams. And so today that is cranial nerves. I'm gonna try and learn, well, I think I'm gonna use my whiteboard that hasn't had any action for a little while. I'm getting really tired. I feel like I've been working for about four or five hours now. So I'm getting close to needing some food, that is for sure. I forgot to say I finished everything, but I am done now. I managed to get through everything on my to-do list, but now I'm actually lying in bed. It's not even that late. It's like, what time is it, Jack? I'm not here. Jack's not here. Um, 25 to seven. It's 25 to seven. I've got some mood lighting on, and I'm gonna watch an episode of Euphoria, which is so good the new season is out on sunday so i'm trying to make sure i'm all caught up in time for the new series oh, this camera work is fantastic isn't it? you think i like the way you're like going back and forwards like yeah it's holding like it really un un unsteadily um anyway it's, uh, good. what are you what are you doing here anyway what are you are you having a nap or no paps no please. paps sorry oh, do you want to talk about having covid i told everyone you had covid yeah it was really fun i enjoyed every minute of it would recommend um Anyway, Jack's isolation ended today, which I think I mentioned. I like it. I've still got three <sighs> days to go. Hopefully next week when I vlog, I'll be outside and I can go to the library and get some library study content. But today, hopefully you haven't minded me being at home. Um, the following I have. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. See ya.